I'm Dave Monroe. I'm a member of the UU congregation in Albany, New York, and a longtime participant and facilitator in the UU Wellspring program. I am passionate about Wellspring. Over the past year, I've had the privilege of facilitating a group of Canadian religious professionals, ministers and religious educators, as we have dived into the Sacred Arts Wellspring program. Why Sacred Arts? The Irish playwright George Bernard Shaw once said that without art, the crudeness of reality would make the world unbearable. Wow. The group first considered their unique creative autobiographies, reflecting on questions such as these. What was your first creative moment? What are your current creative spiritual practices? And what type of art most deeply moves you? The group then dove into the arts, dance, music, stand-up comedy, poetry, photography, cooking, and many other art forms. Finally, the Sacred Arts Program asks its participants to create a group project. This video is the culmination of all that work. So please enjoy. Thank you. I must ask you a question, but I'll shave it for later. That's my 10-year-old daughter's favorite knock-knock joke. I think humor is a great gateway to spirituality. Um, sometimes if I'm feeling down or having a rough day, I watch a bit of stand-up comedy and it gives me a lift. Uh, if I'm teaching a class, uh, I'll start with a silly game. And in with the laughter is the opening of hearts and connection. Um, there's even something called laughter yoga. And so even though you might not be thinking it's funny, you laugh and you laugh and the physical changes in your body um, create joy, you know. So to me, one thing that I've learned in this spiritual journey of my own is that our body and our minds and our spirits are all intertwined and we affect one, we affect the other. And so when we think something's funny and our bodies shake with laughter, then our spirits find joy too. Sacred arts have invited us to notice the sacred, that deep power to connect with what is greater than our body selves in a different way with sacred eyes to really engage that deep and profound connection and to do so through everyday actions, activities and events. For me, the garden has always been a place of connection and grounding. Through the exercise with sacred arts, though, I found myself noticing in a deeper way. And there, a random tulip in my raised bed, a miracle of sorts. How did it even get there? Buds appearing every day, the growth and transformation there as wonder before my eyes. Every day, the change, intentional focus and blooming such beauty and then snow and hail as happens in mid-May in Alberta and devastation, or is it? Yet there is beauty, the petals, a patchwork of color on the ground, and there a hidden bud, protected beauty and potential awaiting. Sacred green growing, transforming, adapting, the potential always awaiting, and so much more profound when looked through sacred eyes. From my very first session, I knew I was embarking on a journey that I could not anticipate. We were to come prepared to deliver a creative 
autobiography as a way of introducing ourselves to each other. And we were given questions to consider, such as what your ideal creative activity is to what connects you more deeply to the divine, the mystery, God, spirit, or life, creating or observing art. I did my best to keep these questions in the forefront as I engaged with each of the topics we engaged with during the program. It awakened my curiosity and creativity in areas that I never thought I'd look at in that way. For example, architecture and who knew stand-up comedy had a spiritual aspect to it. It was our session on textiles and forgiveness that will stay with me for a while. And in particular, I can remember the interview with Gopika Nap, a textile and, and embroidery artist from India who talks about the importance of getting in touch with your creativity. And by doing so, you need to be able to feel the hard things and get past it. This is a program where you get to feel the hard things in a group that holds and encourages you to do so, so that you can get into helping the divine, the mystery, God, spirit of life, come into life. My favorite sacred art is the art of fiction, novels and storytelling. I love being able to read from the perspective of another person and experience their experiences that are often so vastly different than my own, and yet we are fundamentally connected in the human condition. I also love speculative fiction and being taken into new worlds, new societies, new possibilities for how we can be together in the world, both going in and going out provides me with joy and inspiration. Da -da! Improvisation, not clowning. Improvisation is the art of letting go. It's about releasing your impulse, that feeling inside of you of taking action, of giving an offer, of saying yes to another person, to yourself, to life, to spirit. Rather than saying yes, but, which shut down relationship, it shut down our creative juices moving through us. If you say yes and, then you open up yourself into a possibility of something new happening. Improvisation takes courage because you're opening up to the unknown. You don't know what impulse might move through you, and you don't know how the world is going to react to your impulse. Of course, you have to be safe. But impulse in relationship allows for spirit, for creativity, for energy to move through you unimpeded and out into the world. How perfect and beautiful is that? And then you're open and available and willing to receive it. And you say yes. And then there's an exchange back and forth. So you have to let go. You have to get your ego out of the way. You have to let your fears out of the way. You'll still be afraid, but the fear turns to excitement with some practice. It's still scary. But what, but it's worth it, isn't it? It's just worth it. Behind me, I have one of my very favorite things. 
a blank canvas. When I think of painting, I think of creating a doorway into another world. And one of the ways that I think of God is in the metaphor of a painter painting life and never being quite finished. I paint to center myself, I paint to bring new ideas into the world, and I paint to help bring a new connection with people outside of me. I love that in one image I can make something soft and beautiful, or I can go deep into the shadows and bring out the depths of unconsciousness. The Wellspring Creative Arts Program has been a fabulous experience. I come from a creative background and yet still to be able to go into each of the arts and see how rich and exciting and varied and filled with love and life and the unexpected. This program has been a deeply revealing, a deeply nourishing, and sometimes challenging experience. Challenging in the best sense of the word of going into an area that you knew nothing about and learning about it, being inspired by artists all over the world in all different disciplines. I highly, highly recommend it.